Well, and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, Thunder by the Bay is back in Sarasota this year after a brief stint in Lakewood Ranch. The event attracts bikers from all over and outside the U.S. and not everyone is happy about the change in venue. ABC7's Erica Jackson joins us live from the Sarasota Fairgrounds tonight to explain why organizers moved that event out of downtown and are doubtful it could ever return to Main Street. Erica. Good evening. Um, a party continues here at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds. This is the first time organizers are hosting part of the event here, saying that Thunder by the Bay has outgrown downtown Sarasota. And after some turbulence with the city, organizers hope that this can become its new permanent home. Cruising along one by one, dozens of motorcycles turned into thousands Saturday afternoon at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds. This year I got the privilege to go and I'm, I'm blessed to go. Thunder by the Bay has become an annual tradition for the local biker community, but the festival has yet to find its permanent home. And to be a destination event, you have to allow for change and growth. Thunder by the Bay director Lucy McCandry realized the festival was outgrowing downtown Sarasota in 2016 when city leaders and businesses complained the festival hurt downtown. The event moved to Lakewood Ranch, but fundraising for local nonprofit Suncoast Charities for Children took a $100,000 hit after a weekend of bad weather. This is perfect. It's centrally located, a lot of room, hotels are near here, and you're only a mile and a half from downtown. So far, Nick Andry says the event is running smoothly at the fairgrounds, which may be better since in 2016, visitors came from around the world, booking 8,400 hotel rooms, bringing in $8.8 .8 million to the community and more than $100,000 for the charity. Jay and Michelle Bonnet still miss the days when the whole festival took place on Main Street. It would be nice to be welcomed back in, into the downtown area again. I like the environment better, the streets, the shops, the openness of it. Nick Handry, however, says Sarasota has a large and supportive community for bikers and hopes this is the last time the party has to move. This is the best of both worlds, and the most important thing is we can continue to make it a free event for the public and still raise money for charity. The event will continue here through tomorrow night, and organizers expect a total of 50,000 people to walk through these gates by the time the event ends tomorrow. And organizers expect and are hoping to raise about $100,000 for Suncoast Charities for Children and expect to have an $8 million economic impact for our area. Reporting live in Sarasota at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds, Erica Jackson, ABC7, your Suncoast News.